Hello, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Good. Okay, let me write the time quickly. Okay. Okay, can you see the picture? I'm just waiting to see. Okay. So we can see different pictures over here. These are different things that you can do at the weekends. Okay, so um, this is when you have free time. So we're going to say if you like it or if you don't like it and why. Okay, I'm going to write with you. Okay, I will ask you the question first. Do you like playing, is it computer games? Um, no, because it's, it's, um, because it's, don't have for my eyes. Okay, not good for my eyes. Okay, and? And is and play a lot is uh, it can make you lazy. Yes. Okay. And There's another word here. It's anti-social. Okay, that means that you don't talk to anybody else. You don't talk to other people. Okay, antisocial. Okay, let me just write if it was yes. Um, okay, give me one minute. Relax. It can be relaxing or um, educational. That means it can teach you things. Um, why else is it good? Oh, it can be um, fun. Okay, fun or exciting. Okay, you can ask me a question. Do you think um, play chess is boring um yes actually i do think playing chess is boring okay so then that means no you don't like it i don't like it um also because i haven't played chess in a very long time so i can't really remember how to play and it, i don't move my body okay uh Oh, sorry, I don't know. Okay, I don't move my body. And it is not relaxing. What about you? Do you like playing chess? No, because I don't know how to play. Okay. And? I don't move my body, or you can tell me anything. It's going be boring. And it's boring, yes. Let's change this one to boring. Okay, let me just write something for yes. Um, okay, it can make you clever. Um, it is, um, re some people think it's relaxing. And you can have a competition. Okay. Um, 
Do you think playing with toys is fun? No, it can be feel boring and it makes me not happy. Okay. Well, you can say that it's for babies. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm going to say yes. Let me just see here. Oh, Mrs. Hart told me now teach writing. Okay, let's finish this picture first. Um okay, good imagination. Or um, makes me happy. Uh, let's see. Educational. Okay. You can ask me a question. Do you think uh, reading comic book is fun? Yes, I do. Okay, because it is relaxing. Um, the books are funny. Okay, and a lot of them have a good story. What about you? Um, I like it too because it makes me feel happy when I read something. That, are there funny stories? Yes. Make you laugh. Okay, let me just write something for no here. Just so you can keep this. Um, okay, it can be boring. Uh, can make you lazy. Or uh, what else can we say for no? Um, I prefer books. Okay, that's for people that say no. Uh, you Okay, do you like playing table tennis? Yes, because um, it made me feel very relaxing. And it's good it's, exercise? Yes, and I know how to play it. Okay. Uh, okay, and you can get good skills. Okay, if we say no, you can say I don't know how to play. Come on. Can be boring. Oh, um, it makes me tired. Okay. Um, you can ask me the last question. Uh, do you think drawing pa is painting? Painting is boring. No, I like painting. Um. Because I can learn new skills. Okay, it makes me feel relaxed. And um, I can put them on my wall. What about you? Do you like painting? No, because it make me feel boring it is boring 
and the color can can uh, can put on the floor and i i have to clean it okay it's messy if something is messy it means that it makes a big mess you have to clean everything Okay, yes. a mess. It means like there's stuff everywhere. Okay, um, one more thing. I, uh, You're not good uh, at it? Or you don't know? I don't good at it. Okay, I'm not good at it. Okay, very good. Um, okay, if you have to choose one thing that you like here, what would you choose? I will choose a uh, comic book. Comic books? Is that your favorite thing to do? Yes. Okay. And you? Um, I think I will choose painting. I like painting. I I like to paint and I put pictures on my wall. Okay, good. Let me save this and then we're going to do some writing. Uh, okay, let me go and find the writing in this book. Okay, test two. Oh, this is speaking. One minute. I just want to see. No. Sorry, Lam and I just need to find it. Okay, there we go. We got writing. Um, okay, here are some sentences about schools in Britain. For each question, complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first. Okay, so we have to fill in some words. Um, use no more than three words. Okay. So one, two, or three. Okay. <clears throat> when you're ready, you can read and number one for me and tell me what the next sentence is. Uh, it's called nothing to attend a stay school. It costs it's nothing. The, okay. It doesn't cost. Um, it doesn't cost anything either in to attack anything. Okay, so it costs nothing to attend at state school. It's the same as it doesn't cost anything to attend a state school. Okay, let's do number two. City school are usually longer than school in the country. Larger, larger. Larger. School in the country are not as longer as no. city school. Um not as large as city schools okay number three the um, uniform must be worn by children in some school um children must um must must be warm. Must. Yeah. 
wear uniform in the in some school. Okay. Number four. Each class had about 30 children. In each class, um, in each class, there. there are about 30 children. Children can buy not hot lunch as most school. As lunches? Most school. Lunches, lunches, school. Schools. Uh, schools. As most schools. Um, as as most schools this is difficult um, one it is you always say it is possible yes. that means you can it is possible means you can do it yes okay um let me just see Okay. Okay, you would like to borrow a book from your Australian friend Charlie. Write an email to your friend Charlie in your email. You should tell Charlie which book you would like to borrow. Explain why you need to borrow this book and say how long you need the book for. Okay, 35 to 45 words, that's not very long. So let's write a short email to Charlie. How do we start? Dear Charlie. Um, I hope you are well. Uh, I would um, like to I would like to borrow the book the code what is your book called the name of your book um, history okay. history and geography Okay, let's say um, I would like to borrow your history and geography books. Please. Okay, explain why you need to borrow these books. Uh, I borrow the book because I... Um, so I I need them because to uh yesterday I had to um to I had to can say I uh, forgot them at school. Yes, I okay. Had And now I have a an exam tomorrow. Yes, is that okay? Yes. So I need to study. Okay, how long do you need the books for? Um, Only for one night. If tomorrow you have to, you have a test. Yes, I only need the book for one night. 
Okay. Okay, very good. Can you read it for me, Lam An? Um, just yes, dear Charlie, I hope you are well. To borrow the history and geography book, please. I need them because yesterday I forgot my at school and now I have an exam tomorrow. So I need to study. I only need the book for one night. Tell soon, love mine. Very good. Okay. Okay, now we're going to write. Okay. Uh, you in this part, this is part of a letter you receive from an English friend. Okay, can you write? No, uh, can you read it for me? Um, yes, we might have a school trip to the country next year. What do you think is the best time of the year to visit? What are the most interesting things for teenagers? Just to do in the area. Okay, so we need to write a hundred words. Uh, write a letter answering your friend's questions from an English friend. Okay, let's make it smaller. Okay, let's see. Dear English friend. Okay, what are we going to say first? Um, I hope you are well. Okay. What do you think is the best time of year to visit? Okay, let's say, okay, that sounds very exciting. And I think you will love my country. The best time of year to visit is in which month? Mm. March. Okay, in March. Because is of the tent and we can visit the family and you can get lucky money okay because it is tet holidays and we can visit family and do fun things like get lucky money Okay, you can say we also eat traditional food at this. Okay. Uh, what are the most interesting? Mm, yes, what are the most interesting things for teenagers to do in your area? Um, the interesting, my, the interesting, um, the teenagers usually do is, um, get lucky money for everyone. Okay, Every but we, read, we spoke about lucky money. So now I want you to tell me something like, um, go to the cinema or, um, go to the park, go to the museum. Or what kind of temple it is, or the beach? Um, my country, the teenager is visit all visit of of family. Okay, but this is a friend that they don't have family there. They want to know what they can do. They're just visiting for a holiday. Mm, they, they can go to the beach. 
Okay, like going to the beach. Oops. Okay, going to the beach and Oh, sorry. My typing is terrible today. Okay, and eating the local seafood there. Um, another fun activity is to go to go to what line dance. Okay. Um. Let's okay. Go and watch the lion dance. Okay, this is part of Tet holiday. Yes. Okay. Line and fireworks. Yes, of course. Okay. Okay, I think this is enough. What do we say at the end? I look forward to seeing you next year. Just so lovely. Let's make it work. Um, Okay. Okay, Laman, you can read for me. Yes. Dear English friend, I hope you are well. That's so that sounds very exciting and I think you will love my country. The best time of the year to visit is in March. Because it is Ted holiday and we can visit family and do fun things. Like get lucky money. We also eat traditional food at this time of the year. There are many interesting things to do in my area, like going to the beach and eat the local seafood there. Another fun activity is go is to go and watch the lion dance and the firework. This is part of Test holiday. Remember, I always you mustn't forget to say fireworks. I want to hear the S. Yes, the fireworks. Good. I look forward to seeing you next year. Just soon. Love on. Good, love on. Well done. Okay. Well done. Are they, um, is there any words that you don't understand? Are you happy? Mm. Yes. Okay. Let's look at question number eight. Okay, your English teacher wants you to write a story. Your story must begin with this sentence. I was on the bus when I got a text message. Write your story on your answer sheet. Okay, this must also be a hundred words. So I want four paragraphs. Okay, we don't need. Uh, let me draw quickly. Okay, first you're gonna give me a, a title for your story. What is the story gonna be called? I was on the bus when I got a text message. You must tell, give me a name for your story. This is the first sentence, but I want a name. Mm. I don't know. Okay, what are we going to make your story about? 
maybe yeah. you were on the bus and you got a text message so you missed your bus stop and you stayed on the bus and then you went to lots of different places and you saw different things so we can make it the bus adventure okay now i was on the bus when i got a text message okay The message was from? Oh. From my parents. Only one person can send a message, my mother. Yes, my mother. Okay. He was asking? Asking me. What was she asking you? Any uh, question? What do you do now? Okay, she was asking me where I was. As I was replying, I'm going to, to her. <laughs> I missed my stop. I was very worried. Okay, now we can say, um, the next stop was at a museum. Okay, let's say I had to stay on the bus until it went back to my stop. The next stop was at a museum. Tell me what the museum looks like on the outside. In the museum has a um, two big lions. Yes, okay. Let's say it was beautiful. Um and had two big lion statues outside. Okay, and what else? Uh the uh the video has a big gate. Okay. And a large gate to go inside. Okay. We moved on to the next stop, and it was outside a park. Oh, and now, oh, okay, that's fine. I'll fix it. Now I've lost. Okay, tell me about the park. The park is a, uh, there are a seat. Okay. Um, there were a lot of benches. Benches is like a long chair. Okay, where people were sitting. And
Different color birds. Okay. The last stop before my was outside a is a supermarket. Okay. I need to buy something. But remember, you can't get off the bus. You can only tell me from outside. Outside the supermarket. Uh, it was in a very big mall with a lot of people. Yes. Remember, you're only looking from the bus. You can't get off the bus. Yes. I realized how beautiful and fun my city is. Okay, let's read the story, Laman. Um, it's the bus adventure. I was on the boat when I got a text message. The message was from my mother. She was asking me where I was. As I was replying to her, I missed my stop. I was very worried. I had to stay on the boat due to I eat rain. Oh, sorry, let me fix that. Until. Until. Is. Uh, until is, it went. It went back to my stop. The next stop was at a museum. It was very. It was beautiful and had two big lion statues. Outside and a large gate to go inside. We move on to the next stop and it's what outside a park. There were a lot of benches where people were si sitting and different color bus flying around. The last stop before mine was outside a supermarket is what in a very big mall with a lot of people going in and out. I realized how beautiful... Realized? Realized? Realized how beautiful and fun my city is. Very good, Lam An. I heard all this. That makes me very happy. Well done. Okay, you'll get, you will get a much better score... When you speak English and you say all this, then you will get a high score. Okay, good. Um, just give me one minute. I want to fix this before I save it. Okay. Um, outside and what did I say? And a large gate to go inside. Okay. Let me save it. Huh? I'm being very silly today. Okay. Um, we've got 10 minutes left. Let's go back and talk about our picture. Okay, we're not going to do... Okay. okay, 
What can we see in this picture? I want lots of speaking. In this picture, I can see a, a bank. There are a band. A band. Um, there are. Oops, okay. I can but, see a band. There are seven people playing uh, different music in trucks in instrument. It's in trouble. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, they, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, musical instruments like drum, guitar, piano. Violin. Violin. Okay. Um, a piano and a violin. Okay. Let's say men and women are both playing in this band. In the front of the picture. In the front of the picture. Is a big speaker. Speaker. This is a speaker. Oh. Okay. The weather. The weather is very hot. Okay, let's say hot and sunny. I very think the, uh, uh, and just say the sky is blue. Yes, I think. I think the uh, I think this is the summer because everyone is wearing summer clothes. Good. Okay. Um. It looks like they are outside on the street. There are a big tree behind them. There is a big tree behind them. Okay, I just want it looks like they're on the street because I can see the road. Okay, what is behind the man playing the drums? Uh, it's a... Uh, a bell, okay. A big bell. They got that big. Okay, let's read it, Lam An. Oh, I can see a bag. There are seven people playing different musical in trucks. It's true one. I can see drums, a guitar, a piano, and a violin. Men and women are both playing in this bag. In the front of the picture is a big speaker. The weather is hot and sunny. The sky is blue. It's thing is is summer because everyone is wearing summer clothes. 
It looks like they are outside on the street because I can see the road. There is a big tree behind them and a bell behind the man playing the drum. Okay, well done, Lam An. Very good. Are there any words you don't understand? You want to ask me any questions? Oh, uh, no. Okay, can you tell me about this picture with no writing? You can say more things if you want to. This picture, I can see the bank. There are several people playing different in musical instruments. 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 Uh, Both men, men and women. Both men and women is playing drums in this band. In this band. Oh. Uh, there is men, uh, there is different instrument like violin, drum, guitar, uh, maybe piano, micro. micro. Yes, a speaker, a big speaker in the front of the picture. Yes. The weather is very hot and sunny. The sky is blue. I think it is the summer because everyone is wearing summer clothes. There is a big tree and a bell behind the band playing drum. Very good. Well done, Lam An. Okay. We've got two minutes left. Now you can talk to me. Tell me what did you do today? Uh, first, I got to school. When I went to school? I went to school. I went to school. After the school, I go home and I eat dinner. What did you eat for dinner? I eat rice and meat. I ate rice and meat. Okay. And uh, who, who cooked the dinner for you? It's my grandmother. Okay, good. Grandmothers usually make delicious food. Of course. Of course, good. Okay, what did you do after dinner? After dinner, I bath and I learn you. After that, I have to go for my uh, March and Vietnamese class. Oh, you go, do you go to teacher? You go to your teacher's house, your maths or Vietnamese teacher? Yes, I have to learn this to 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Wow, okay. That's a long day. And then what time do you go to sleep? I go to sleep as half past nine. Okay. But have you got school tomorrow? Yes, of course. So on Saturday you have school? Uh, no. What is, oh, tomorrow is Friday. Sorry, I'm being silly. Okay, so only one more day. Yes. Yes, okay. Well done, Lam An. I will see you soon. Yes. Goodbye. Goodbye.